Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And thank you for joining me for the Lord's Word of God today. And we celebrate Yeshua, Jesus, for his agape love, which is the true love of God. For there is no greater love than a man who gave up his life for his friends. Amen? Amen. And the way you know if you have the Holy Spirit in you, as you will have the love of Jesus inside of you. Amen? Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, let us remember to pray up every day and read up every day and keep the love of Jesus in our hearts and we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen. And so, brothers and sisters, today's message is about the church family. And in Galatians, the Word of God tells us, to do good to all, but especially to the household of faith. Amen? Amen. So if you brought your Bibles today, please turn with me to the book of Philippians chapter 1. And in this chapter, Paul is addressing the church of Philippi, and he prays for them. And so we'll start reading in verse 9. And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in the knowledge and in all discernment that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. And so he's praying that they have more love and knowledge and genuine faith and repentance. Amen? Amen, brothers and sisters. And we all need to pray for more love. Amen? Amen. And knowledge comes from reading the Word of God. We live by God's will and Word. Amen? Amen. So the second passage we will read is found in Hebrews chapter 10. We'll start reading verse 24. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as is in the manner of some, but exhorting one another. And so much the more, as you see the day approaching. So brothers and sisters, he's telling us that we need to assemble together in church to fellowship with each other. Amen? Amen. And stir up love and good works. We must encourage each other and help each other. The church prays collectively and also individually. We can have people pray for us. And when looking for someone to pray for you in the church, Look to the low person, not the high person, to pray for you. Amen? Amen. Because God loves humble prayer. He does not hear proud prayer. In 1 Corinthians, the Word of God tells us, If one member suffers, all the members suffer. And if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Amen? Amen. We are family and we stick together. Amen? Amen. We are there to help each other through thick and thin and to encourage each other to read up and pray up every day, to continue our walk with Jesus, like climbing the ladder to paradise of heaven. Amen? Amen. As it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, we are to comfort each other and edify each other. Amen? Amen. And Jesus tells us, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Amen. Amen. And let us not forget to worship, sing Jesus songs with the church, brothers and sisters. There are only two ways we bless our Lord and Savior, God Almighty. And that is to give him praise and glory for the things that he's done in our lives and to sing Jesus songs to him. Amen. Amen. Jesus told us in the word of God that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. So we need to be fed by the Holy Spirit by reading the Word of God, or the body will take over. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit daily. It is like gasoline or petrol for a car. Like a car, some can run out of the Holy Spirit. Like Jesus tells us on the Sermon on the Mount, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, it is good for nothing. Jesus will never leave you. But if you turn your back on God, God will turn his back on you. If you get into perpetual sinning, God will take your guardian angel away from you. 
We must get better to get close to God. We must read the truth to get better. After we receive the Holy Spirit, we are to go on to perfection. And this is found in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. So brothers and sisters, let us put our sins behind us and press forward for the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Remember Peter, when he started to walk on the water, he took his eyes off of Jesus and he started to sink. We all need to keep our eyes on the Lord. And the way we do that is to read your Bible every day and pray every day, and keep the love of Jesus in your heart, and we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.